They don't call it Mudmaster for nothing. Military and civilian teams have been testing their skills to the limit. On the British Army Motorsports Association's annual off-road event. It's about driver and navigator working as a team. The driver reading the terrain and driving appropriately, getting the right gears, getting it in diff lock, uh, low range. The navigator obviously reading the map, reading the aerial photograph, looking out for the marker boards, but also looking out for hazards and warning the driver. So it's a real team effort. The competitors take part in a series of stages across central Scotland, hoping to impress with their navigation, observation, discipline and safety skills. So you need to be conscious of, of the ground you're driving over, make sure it can support the vehicle. Be conscious of, of any gradients, whether that's up and down or um, camber. Um, plan where you're going before you go and really try and stick to that and use the vehicle for what they can do. While the driver has their hands full, making sure the vehicle can negotiate the stage, the navigator next to them is just as important, making sure the driver is aware of their surroundings and the terrain. Obviously you can't have a navigator who can't drive and you can't have a driver who can't navigate. The driver has to fully concentrate on driving in some cases on some of the technical stuff. So it's the navigator's job to make sure they're going the right direction and they'll get there at the right time. And this year's event sees the return of motorcycle teams who are taking part for the first time in 10 years. These stages are difficult enough on four wheels, never mind two. I think it does bring its own challenges, but we also we also obviously have our own benefits. We're considerably lighter than a typical 4x4 and in some respects slightly more manoeuvrable. Um, the only probably biggest downside is we are exposed to the elements. We're pretty fortunate we're sat here in the sunshine, but it is really muddy. So we are going to get muddy, we are going to get wet if should the weather turn. It's a great chance for the competitors to hone their skills on some very challenging terrain. And with civilian enthusiasts competing as well, an opportunity for the soldiers to tap into their expertise to develop their off-roading skills. I think it's massively important because they do a lot more of this and they've got the, the vehicles, they've got the understanding of the full mechanics of these vehicles, whereas we normally just go in, get trained on the vehicle and get pushed out straight into the training areas. Exercise Mudmaster provides a true test for these off-roaders' abilities pushing even the most experienced competitors for over 30 years now. David Civils McCann, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel.